This video will give you a brief overview of the iMonit online wireless sensors portal. When you're logged into your iMonit account, the first thing you'll notice is the menu bar across the top of the page. This is there to provide quick navigation to different parts of the software. The default view is going to be the sensor network overview. From this page you can see all the sensors on your current account. You can also switch between networks if you have multiple networks available to you. On this page you'll notice that there is a status icon over top of the sensor icon. This status icon will show you the current status of your wireless sensors. It'll be a green check mark if everything is working as needed. It will be a red explanation point if the sensor is in an alerting state. It'll be a yellow question mark if the sensor is not checked in or we do not know the status of that sensor and it'll be a gray power icon if the sensor is yet to be brought online with batteries. The sensor icon will provide a quick visual to the sensor type that you are looking at. We also have the sensor's name, its last data that was reported in, we have the date and timestamp of the last check-in, as well as the signal strength from the last check-in and the battery level at that last check-in as well. By clicking anywhere in this sensor's information bar, we can expand the detailed view for that sensor. Within the detailed view, we have the sensor's last check-in and its expected next check-in time. We also have tabs down here that allow us to view the sensor history in a data format. We can also view the sensor data in a chart format, and this is able to be printed as well. Then we have our notifications. These are all notifications that have been set up for this sensor. And then at the top here we'll have activity of notifications that have been sent. We'll have the ability to export sensor data to a CSV file for either this individual sensor, all sensors on the network, or all sensors on the account. We also have the ability to configure our account to send sensor data to a third party. And lastly we'll have an edit tab which will allow you to edit sensor parameters and configurations. Some sensors will have an additional calibration tab that will be explained in a separate video. To minimize a sensor's detail view, simply click again up in the sensor information bar and the information will contract. You can do this for each sensor on your account. If you have more than one sensor network available to you, you can choose between the sensor networks by clicking on the drop down box in the top left corner. You can also select multiple sensors of the same type and choose chart to view a quick chart view of those sensors. We also have a gateway view. If you click on view gateways, we'll be able to see all of the gateways for our networks as well. The next item in the menu is our notifications section. This is a global notifications page. This will allow you to create, edit, delete, and activate and deactivate sensor notifications, as well as be able to view all of the recent notifications sent from the system. To activate and deactivate sensor notifications, simply click on the envelope to the left of the sensor notification name. If you wish to view the sensor notification and or edit and delete it, click on the name. And then you can also quick edit a sensor notification by clicking on the pencil icon to the right of the name. Next we have Manage. Manage allows you to manage the sensor network by changing its name or details. You can also add and remove or edit sensor and gateway settings through this page as well. Next we have reports. Reports will allow you to view sent notifications, access logs, and other similar system-wide reports from the account. Lastly we'll have sensor maps. Sensor maps is only available for Premier subscribers. Sensor maps will allow you to upload a graphic of a location and then place visually on that map different sensors. This helps you to remember where you place sensors and can also provide a quick at-a-glance view of sensor data in its actual format where you have it laid out in an application. To the far right we'll have support. Support is an area where you can grab the latest drivers or downloads for your system as well as view support videos such as this one. Lastly we have the my account section up in the top right. 
You can click on this to edit your account information or add or manage account users. We hope you enjoy using the I'm on it online wireless sensors portal. To view more video support files, go to www.monit.com forward slash support.